Hello, St. Mary Magdalene. Merry Christmas, and thanks for tuning into this week's video with me, Father Chris. I was sick last week. Sorry I wasn't able to make the video, but um, we brought in a video from Father Mike Schmitz on the meaning of Advent. So I hope you enjoyed that, but I'm back. And again, Merry Christmas. What a beautiful day, joyous news, right? That Emmanuel, God, is with us. That God has entered into our world, entered into our life. In a radical and profound way. So deep is his desire to be with us, to be with each of you. So rejoice in that. Thank the Lord for that, that the Lord comes after us. Right? Here's this beautiful good news, right? That Christmas, right? It's so beautiful how the Lord in his providence preordained it, right? That Christmas would come towards the time of the year where it's the shortest days, the night seems to be long and taking over. And yet here's Christ, right, who comes into the scene and all of a sudden days start getting longer and night begins to wane. And that's the great victory, right? The beautiful victory of the light, the light that shines in the world and is not overcome by the darkness, right? As John's gospel says in the prologue, Christ is that light of the world and our victory is won through him. And so we rejoice, our hope is full at the coming of the Messiah. So. Merry Christmas. I just wanted to say that in this short video this week, know that I'm praying for you and I'm so grateful for you and for being part of St. Mary Magdalene. It's my great joy and my honor to serve you as pastor and spiritual father and know Father Sylvester, Father Arthur as well. Wish you a Merry Christmas and we are all praying for you. And to end this video, I wanted to give a short little reflection actually from St. Charles de Foucault. St. Charles de Foucault is a great saint actually in my priestly fraternity group, which you met a couple of them in one of the videos I did over the summer, where we saw us at a cabin having a little, this kind of table side chat. Uh, St. Charles de Foucault is kind of a, a model for our priestly fraternity gathering. So he wrote this reflection on Christ and on Christmas called the Nativity, it's Meditations from a Hermit. So this will be our closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I was born born for you, born in a cave, in December, in the cold on a wintry night, in poverty and in solitude, unknown even to the poorest. Why was I born in this way? So that you may believe in my love, since my love for you knows no limit. As I have loved you so much, put all your hope in me. I teach you to love me, loving you with such tender love, it was not enough for me to give myself to the world in the Incarnation. Ever since my birth, I have shown myself to you and have put myself entirely into your hands. Ever since then, you have been able to see me, hold me, hear me, serve me, console me, love me, love me, for I am close to you. I give myself to you completely. In my great goodness, I did not give myself to you just at my birth for a few days or years but I gave myself into your hands forever, till the end of time. I became this little child, so gentle and vulnerable, for you. Do not be afraid of me. Come, take me in your arms and adore me. Caress me as a child loves to be caressed. See, I hold out my arms to you. Be not afraid to caress me, a little tender babe. I am your God, but I am gentle and smiling. Be not afraid, but full of tenderness and love and confidence. Father, gosh, we thank you so much for the gift of Christmas and for the birth of your son who's come to set us free and give us hope. Through the intercession of St. Charles de Foucault and St. Mary Magdalene, may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Mary Magdalene, pray for us. St. Charles de Foucault, pray for us. And Merry Christmas.